Hey there, Parker Reed here, and welcome to Pete R Media, your home for everything movies and music through my eyes. And since it's Halloween this coming weekend, I thought I'd talk about some horror movie classics that I've just never seen. I've seen a lot of movies over my years, but the horror genre's just never been one I've really gravitated towards. Sure, I've seen most of the big ones like The Exorcist, Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, all that, but there's some that have just kind of slipped through the cracks, and I'm kind of ashamed to say that a lot of these I own on physical media on Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray. I've just never watched them yet. Maybe I will this week, but I'm currently working through all the Friday the 13th movies, and that schlock has taken a lot to get through. So I'm going to go through 10 of them that I kind of compiled here after some Google searches and just looking through my collection. So here are 10 horror movies that I've never seen. One movie I plan to see very soon that I haven't yet is John Carpenter's The Thing. This is a classic. It's, I don't know why I haven't seen it yet. It's pretty much due to laziness. This is a really cool addition, really cool cover. I will get to it, I promise, but I have never seen The Thing. I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this next one. It's a movie I've talked about a couple times, but I've just never sat down and watched it before. It's the Evil Dead, the original Sam Raimi edition. I really need to watch this. I've heard the 4K isn't great. That's kind of shooed me away thus far, but it's a horror classic that you heard that from the title. So I definitely need to watch it. My dumb ass just hasn't yet. Next up is another horror movie from the 80s. That's kind of a theme here. A lot of 70s and 80s movies here. We've got The Poltergeist, another movie I own that I haven't watched yet. I recently bought this for like five bucks at Walmart a couple weeks ago, and I just haven't watched it. There's been a lot coming out on 4K Blu-ray that I've been reviewing, and now I'm starting to make excuses. So I probably Probably just have to watch this and get it over with. Next up on classic horror movies that I've never seen, it's The Omen. I pretty much know all the twists and plot of this movie. I've just never sat down and watched the whole thing from start to finish. And that's a running theme on here. A lot of these movies, I know the overall plot, the overall message, and the overall scare, so I just never felt the need to watch the whole thing. But I really need to sit down and watch The Omen soon. Next up is an essential classic. It's Night of the Living Dead. One of the founders of the zombie movie genre. Obviously, it's influential. I just need to watch it. Next up we have Dracula from 1931 with Bela Lugosi. I know who Bela Lugosi is, but I've never seen any of his movies. I know him from Ed Wood, the Johnny Depp movie back in the 90s, but I've just never watched it. Everyone knows who Dracula is. You've seen people dress up like him on Halloween for God knows how long. So I've seen a lot of other Dracula movies, including Bram Stoker's Dracula, but never watched the original one. I definitely need to sit down and watch it. Once I find it on Blu-ray somewhere, like Walmart or Target, I'm sure I'll pick it up, but it just never happened. Next up is a modern horror movie I've never seen and it spawned a bunch of sequels, The Conjuring. I feel really bad that I've seen The Nun, but I've never seen the original Conjuring. I've heard it's really good. It's kind of harkens back to some classic horror elements. It's not just this big bombastic, you know, scare fest, jump scares here and jump scares there and everything associated with that. I really want to watch The Conjuring. It's another movie. As soon as like the series is finished or a sequel comes out, I want to catch up. I'll do it. I just haven't got to it. Next up on this list is a movie that's not really considered a horror movie, but from what I've heard and what I've seen and what spawned from it, I think it is a horror movie. We've got Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, Seven, what's in the box? I know what's in the box. I know what the plot is basically. I think I've read the plot synopsis once, but I own this. I've just never watched it yet. I really need to do that because I've heard it's really good. And I've heard the new Batman movie that's gonna come out in 2022, sadly delayed, is kind of similar to this as far as plot elements and tone. So before that happens, I definitely need to watch Seven. Next up is another Seven. 70s movie. It's one I own and paid quite a bit for the 4K, but just never watched it yet. It has a remake of it that came out with Dakota Johnson a couple years back. We've got Dario Argento's Suspiria. It's one that I'm interested in watching, but just never have sat down. I mean, I own hundreds and hundreds, nearly a thousand Blu-rays and 4K Blu-rays, so stuff falls through the cracks. I buy it, it kind of sits there like, oh, I'll watch that tomorrow, I'll watch that next week, or watch it this weekend. It just doesn't end up happening, but it will eventually. I freaking promise. I'll watch this before I die at some point. I just don't know when. Last up on this list of classic horror movies I've never seen, it's Nosferatu! That's right, 1922's Nosferatu, basically pretty much the grandfather of all horror movies and all vampire movies. It's one that's just kind of part of the cultural zeitgeist, we take it for granted. Just never sat down and watched it, I've never seen it on Blu-ray anywhere or DVD even, so when that happens, I definitely will watch it. I don't really seek out movies that much, if I see them somewhere and I want to watch them, that's kind of been in the back of my mind, then I'll pick them up. But that's the case with Nosferatu, I just never saw it, and just hasn't really crossed my mind that many times. But when I saw the Nosferatu come up in a Google search of classic horror movies, movies. I'm like, holy shit, I've never seen that before. It kind of dawned on me, so I definitely plan on watching Nosferatu before too long. There you have it. That's 10 horror movies I have never seen. 10 classic horror movies I've never seen. So are those crimes against humanity? Have you seen all of them? Have you seen some of them? Let me know how they are in the comments below. I don't care about spoilers. Spoil the hell out of them for me. I don't give a shit. If you like what you saw here, you can check us out on Facebook or Instagram and like, 
comment, and subscribe if you so choose. My name is Parker Reed. You've been watching Pete R Media. Keep supporting physical media, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. If that was you on the phone and you on the bus, then who was flickering the lights? Nosferatu!